Alrighty, boys and girls. I figured I'd show you something cool today. I'm gonna be playing Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild in an emulator. That's right. I do not possess a Nintendo Switch or a Wii U. I only possess, in fact, a Dual Shock PS4 controller. Sacrilegious, I know. I'm a dirty, dirty man. But I just want to show you guys that hey. it's pretty friggin' beautiful in 4K. Man. <laughs> Hoeing the fields. Eating the apples. Hell yeah. Give me these apples. I'm gonna cook these fucking apples, holy shit. Burn, you fuckers, burn! Burn! I fucked up. Sorry, everybody. I ate one. Ah, who needs fucking baked apples anyway? I don't need that shit. Apple's just some basic shit. Fuck you! Oh, I got no arrows. Oh man. Everything's going wrong. Truly. Truly awful. So, uh... Before any of you ask me in private messaging, like, how I did this... Let me just tell you outright that, uh... If you're asking me how to do this, you probably can't. Because you're not savvy enough. There's like nine steps. And B, this shit's not gonna run on your laptop, son. You gotta have a beastly ass rig. Like, I'm overclocked at 4.8 gigahertz, and this thing still pegs at an 87% utilization. So, it's serious. Um, emulators in general are more bound by your disk I.O. and your... Um, your CPU clock speed. Effectively, you need to have eight times the processing power of the target system before you're able to effectively emulate it at any playable frame rate. So, the GPU's not really a bottleneck. You might notice that little bit of stutter right there. The way that I've gotten around the streaming shader cache in this game is that I've loaded the whole fucking thing into memory. So, of my 24 gigs of memory, I've loaded uh, the game plus the shader cache, as it exists now, it's like 14 gigabytes into memory. Dude, we've got this seamless playback. You're a dick. Yeah. Get wrecked, motherfucker. I'm gonna fuck you, I'm gonna eat your face. I need a more serious weapon for this bitch. Shit. Okay. Your own, your own stick. How do you like that? How do you like that? Eat your rice. Eat your rice. I'm gonna throw your spear. I don't even need your spear. I'm just gonna throw it away. Cause fuck it. Fuck your spear. No, no. Alright. Sneak up on this bitch. Actually sneaking this way. I'm a sneaky sneak. Yes. <laughs> Alright. Hey, maybe I'll throw this too. But you weren't expecting this! Okay. Well. Time to get serious. Well, where am I? I'm in this grass? Holy shit! Oh man. So basically, every time this game loads a shader into the cache, it slows everything down. So basically, by loading the whole game into memory, and, or instead of using someone else's shader's cache that's posted on Reddit and, you know, uh, is compiled for someone else's graphics card, I'm just compiling it myself as I traverse the wilderness doing weird shit. Um, and so, basically, if you don't have a system that's got some a lot of very fast memory, like my, my memory's overclocked to about... 
2400 megahertz with pretty tight timings. And I have 24 gigs of it. And unless you have enough to fit the entire game, it's like a no-go. Uh, it is playable at this point. I feel like in a few revisions, this emulator will be on par with ones that we've got for like uh, older generation Sony and Nintendo hardware. But it's going to be a while before it maturates. Like, maybe I would start helping you set this up after, like... Shh. There's only nine steps involved. <laughs> As it is, it's not very intuitive. That, yeah, you know, this is a beautiful game. I feel like this is an important game to, like, gaming history. The more I play it. It's like, holy shit, flabbergasted by just the, just the attention to detail, like this, the, the, uh, the variety of gameplay, the different gameplay loops that, you know, you can choose to engage with or not at your own discretion. Um, the difficulty also is, uh, the fair shade harder than, well, at least, you know, starting out, like any open world game, you know, there's zones that you can't go to initially. Um, but, ooh, oh no. Oh no, that's truly unfortunate. Oh man, I'm gonna die. I was gonna run out of stamina and drown before I climbed up that cliff, so I gotta teleport out of here. Um, what's pretty, what's scenic? Shit. I mean, the initial starting tower gives you quite a, quite a nice view. It's kind of like uh, if you ever played Shadow of Mordor or whatever. There's these towers that uh, allow you to... Um, these Sheikah towers that allow you to traverse the landscape fastly. But uh, you got to unlock them first by basically finding them and climbing the shit out of them. But uh, yeah, I mean, the, the draw distance? Like, holy shit. The texture details and the lighting? Like holy moly. What a fantastic game. I am I am glad they took their time. I'm glad they used this as a linchpin for their uh their next console launch. Look at that. That's a shrine out there, that's like a dungeon. I think I'm gonna go for that. I'm probably gonna crash though. I I'm very weak in the stamina. Maybe I'll glide to that tower and run my ass over there. Maybe I'll glide to that. I don't even know what that is. Probably something sweet. I hope I make it. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Oh, please. I've wanted nothing more than this. Ooh! And that's that stuttering that I was talking to you about. But you know, it's not too bad when the entire game is loaded into memory. <laughs> yeah, uh, very much a clutch. Whoa. So it obviously doesn't have the shader for, you know, that explosion as of yet. But that was friggin' awesome. I gotta, I gotta do that again. Cause, like, why not? Woo! How do you like that? See, the second time you do anything, it's great. So basically, I've gotta play this game until my shader cache is about 28 gigs. I'm actually gonna run out of memory before that time. And you know what? I'll probably buy more physical memory for my computer for this game, because that's how great it is. I mean, shit, I might even just buy a copy of the game without a Switch, just to let them know that I love them. Yeah, there's like dynamic AI and stuff, like the villagers and the, the creatures. They like do stuff when you're not doing stuff with them, so that's pretty cool. What was I doing? Oh man, I gotta kill that boar. I swear, yeah, there's like a dungeon out here, right? Hmm. That looks kind of orangey. Going for that. Ooh. Please ignore me, boys. I'm just running around at night. Woo! Now you got stamina in lieu of uh, barrel rolling everywhere. Not barrel rolling. Slippy would tell you to barrel roll. Uh, somersaulting everywhere, as you would in previous Zelda games. Ooh. Like Minecraft, these 
bastards come out at night. Because fuck you. Yeah, throw this my stick. Yeah. Woo! Got an arm. Awesome. Yeah, very picturesque though. I mean, like, I haven't done like any of the big dungeons. I just done a few shrines. Mostly, I just like climb on shit and eat everything. And I'm happy, you know. <gasps> the dungeon. I see it. The baby. Going for it. It's like baddies, moblins. Whatever. I don't care about them. Ooh, a rusty claymore. Yeah, fucking sick. <laughs> Shit about you, get fucking arm. Gross. Oh, I. Uh, that annoying beeping that you hear, that's the shrine detector. When I get to this shrine, it'll shut the fuck up. Whoa. This is getting a little serious. I'm gonna have to eat some of my food reserves here. That shit. Uh, I was way too many hearts. I shouldn't have. Been. Whatever. Ooh, ooh, I, that stung. Look at that motherfucker. When you throw something, it probably will break it, but uh, it does double damage. So, a rusty claymore to the face. That's uh. Ooh. Ow! Dick! You're alive? Never mind this shit. <gasps> Flint! I love Flint. It's unless you start fires. So you can cook on those fires. All the stuff that you find. Okay. Who's up this bastard? Hello, buddy! You don't like that! You died! So primarily in this game, like you're not gonna find many random rupees around. You gotta um, sell the bits of monsters that you that you find. So all these, well, not these, not this arm. That's that's just terrible. But uh, like horns, fangs, you can use them in, as regents in crafting and stuff as well. But Selling them is also a fine, so you can buy some better armor. Pro tip: Cause you're not, it's very rare to just find rubies. You only find them in chests. Like I don't know, I haven't chopped many bushes or whatever. But uh, let me just drink my beer. I'm also gonna get like a, a little ripped, a little ripped for uh, getting this dungeon here. You can uh, just imagine me smoking. A joint the size of my thumb. Oh god. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. Alright. My body is ready. Alright. Going down. So... This is another step. Like, the, the emulator, you know, if you use this G-Fences hack that you have to to get a 30 FPS playable frame rate, then... The shrines and menus run at 60 FPS, so you have to create a driver profile hack to force everything to run at 30. Which is just one of the many steps. And, uh... Once you do, though, it works out alright. And obviously it's a lot more performant in here than... You know, outside or next to a town or anything like that. I want that. How do I get that? There's a fan. I think I know how this works. Right. I'm a fucking genius. Eh. This dungeon kind of blows. <laughs> Oh Jesus, no. <laughs> Everything's gone wrong. As I glide to my doom. Oh jeez. Man. Gliding is hard, yo. It's a good thing God saves me every time.
be really unfortunate if I just splattered against that floor down there. Ugh. Come on. Ready. Set. Go. Yeah! Right! Woo! Woo! Oh, Jesus, no. Please, no. No. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's horrible. I'm so sorry, Link, that this happened to you. I mean, I accept no culpability. It's really your own fault. Think about it. Damn. See, the buttons, you know, they, they just say the button and then I don't press it. Like my thing. Oh, I know why. I got a weapon out. Alright. If you have a weapon out, you can't glide. Let it be known. Alright. Rock and roll up. Woo! What's up, buddy? You know, there's probably random bonus chests in here. Do I care enough, though, to get that? Fuck yeah, I do. Please? <laughs> no! Got greedy. I always get greedy. Like one of those cardinal sins. Oh, uh, yeah, there was no cause for that, Link. I'm sorry. That that was that's my bad entirely. I'm not even gonna blame that one on you. I eat all my food, being an idiot. It's fine though. There's a lot of food to be found. Go for it! Go! 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 You bastard! God damn you! Hmm. Maybe there's a trick to this. What else could I glide from? Hmm. Nope, I think I just gotta not suck. Let's roll. Yeah! Hmm. Soldiers play more. That was totally worth eating all that food for. Ugh, shrines, shrines, shrines. Shrines, shrines, everywhere, shrine. God damn you. The pain. Fuck you, Boko Bat. Hey, how the fuck do I glide? Yeah, I think I just gotta jump off of a something and the game detects when you've jumped off and then you can glide. Woo! Hello, Mr. Mummy. I would like very much your stuff. I'm quite resourceful. I only died 40 times getting to you. Mm. See, I just don't know why all these shrines, they're praying to Halea, right? I think there's three gods in Zelda. She's like blue god, and there's red god, green god. RGB, the colors of a monitor screen. Any color can be reproduced with red, green, or blue. For those who don't know, like that dude, he went back to the green, which is good. You know, I might just have to do that too. Like, really a great reefer game. Because you can just sort of roll around, just like doing whatever you want all the time. You can be as chillaxed or as not as you want to be. Like, I wonder what that is in that stream. Do I care enough to go swim to get it? Probably not. Hmm. 
mushrooms. Delightful. Link's gotta get his shroom on. Uh. Looks like a human. Looks like some dudes. Hello, dudes. Should I go to town with my sick ass new claymore? Oh. Oh fuck, yes I should. Woo! I did not intend for that. I guess I'll be sneaky this time? Yeah. Sneaky. I wish I had any arrows to blow up those crates. That would be delightful. Hmm. What are you? A throwing spear? Oh my word. I just thought up an evil Machiavellian scheme. Uh huh. Uh huh. Can I light you on fire? No. I can light you on fire. Come back for you, baby. Be this shit ass piece of shit. <laughs> well, now you're just confused. Why would he do that? And in the chaos, I will reach forth. Yeah, motherfuckers! Yeah! Oh, whoa, ow. Owie. Ow, bro. I'm so hard, I'll kill you when you're behind me. Man, I feel bad for you dudes. Truly unfortunate that you have to face me. You don't want to use your best weapons, like, all the time. If anything, you want to get creative and, like, crush them with, like, your powers or whatever, because, like, wasting your weapons is just dumb. Do -do 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 -do. What's in it? Five arrows or something stupid! I mean, I guess that's alright, I already got one, but whatever. Roll out! Yeah, that's like a weird bird ship, you know? I don't know if any of you dudes have seen, like, Mysterious Cities of Gold from, like, the 80s, but the bird ship, that's what that reminds me of. Yep. Ay, ay, ay! Someday we will find the cities of gold! It was a truly, truly awesome show. Made by French people, animated by Japanese people. Truly bizarre. More dudes? Less of them. No arrows. You really gotta buy arrows before you come out into the field, because you're not just gonna, like, happen upon them. Like, sell the monster parts, buy the fucking arrows. Don't be like me. Be a fucking asshole. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, rusty broadsword. Yeah, I, think I had it right. And then I ran down in and uh, jumped on him, and then fucking slice. Woo! And just so you're aware, like I'm rendering the game in 4K and down so I'm pulling it to 1080, but effectively. The game assets don't exist at 4K, so it's like you could render it at 4K, but the workload that this emulator's putting on your graphics card is in fact less than a traditional game being rendered with assets that are natively 4K at 4K. It still looks pretty nice, though. I mean, the, the assets that they did have were high quality. Woo! Starting to rain. A little fog action. I actually wish that I had picked up those fucking apples, because... Nothing I have. Eh, there's two. Alright, my mushroom skewer. You want some low health items though. Just to top you top your health bar up. Oh man. Must be buffering some new shaders. Storm shaders. Whoa, lightning. Okay. I probably shouldn't have a fucking metal item. I'm terrified. Lightning. 
Well, at least they show you which ones will electrocute you. That's that's nice. Consider it. Oh, you summoning more dudes? Oh wait, all your dudes are dead! Oh no. I gotta get out of here. Right after I open that chest. I want that. I also want that meat. Mmm, meat! Mmm, rupees! Yeah! See, I've never found rupees just on the ground before. That's why the game's telling me that. What a fucking horrible world. Man, I sure wish it wasn't, you know, fucking lightning out. Holy shit. That's, uh, that's horrifying. There was reason to be scared. I didn't know that that would happen, but I surmised it might. Okay, let's teleport. Not here. Anywhere here. Anywhere, anywhere but not here. That's where I would like to be. See you never. My pap's blue ribbon. See, the first thing I did was go and find as many fucking towers as I could and climb them. Um, I really haven't done anything else. This game is just expansive as hell. Like, I've seen not many game worlds that are this large geographically. And certainly not any other Zeldas, which are generally more linear in nature previously, but they're very tight, constrained experiences. Okay, I'm still lightninging. What the fuck do I do? Jump into a lake? Lightning can't hit a lake, right? Like, yeah. Oh no. Well, that's actually realistic to science, because you're the only thing in the sky, and then they're, you know, conduct electricity. Well. Well, you fucking game. I guess I'm gonna teleport to a town and hide inside. Apparently, that's what you have to do in a lightning storm. <laughs> And you know, I'm not kind of like, yeah, no spoilers in this video, because you know, honestly, I don't play the main storyline, I just kind of kind of wander around. Yeah. Shit. Oh, it's beautiful again. I knew if I teleported it enough that it would just work. Well, I should probably cut this video short, it's probably blowing out the gigs on my solid state drive, but uh... Yeah. It's proof of concept. I'm sure the graphics settings will stabilize, as will the performance in the coming years, as do all emulators. Just, I was just shocked that it's already so performant. And it's just because the power level of the Wii U, um, with its system on a chip basically being, um,. I don't know. I think that the, the Switch is about 20% faster when it's docked or something like that. They're both system on chips. Um, the Wii U, I believe, though, was x86 based. Same architecture as PCs, whereas the Switch is a system on a chip created by NVIDIA. It uses the ARM architecture, like you would have in your cell phone. Um, so they're pretty equivalent performance wise, which means that, you know, I'm imagining that it won't be so hard to emulate Switch games either, which is terrible. Nintendo definitely loses a lot of money to emulators. I like to support their hardware when I can, but it's just like, I can't afford a $300 outlay just to play Zelda. I'd much rather buy more computer parts, and I'll get more money out of them um, than I would for any console, really. And, you know, I, I say that because I'm a salty veteran, and I know how to dodge licensing fees and get all the hardware and software that I want forming in the range that I want or need for my requirements. For others, the turnkey excellence of a console is not to be 
disputed. You know, it's it's a feature. It's part and parcel of the experience. It's just that if those that created the Bleeding Edge must have a PC. If you just want to have as many shader units as you can possibly lay your hands on. Um, this is a puzzle. I'm gonna change my rune. Gotta get my thing. Hey. Fuck you. I'm gonna smash you. I'm gonna smash you. You're smashed. Ah. Okay. I've obviously just gotta put this away. Woo! Hey, can you help me versus these slimes? No, you're just gonna sit there and watch? You like to watch? What? Oh, shit. No, no, no. Yes. Yes, that's the kind of thing that you do for slimes. Alrighty. Well, that ends this video. I, if you watched all this, like, sorry. I, sorry I made this. But whatever, I love you. So if you have any computer problems, whatever, hit me up. Um, but yeah. This is over.